Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from all of the LPL spring matchups of the day. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. A few years it's been a bit, if they lose a series here, if LGD, if they lose a series, they're pretty much definitely out for LGD, but you can't afford to lose series like this. Meteor is off vision though. It does immediately get turned into a massive pincushion as stones and hooks from the deep come dragging him down. First blood towards the Viego towards bot side. Chincha mm. and Meteor, they will both be here, both with ultimates. PP God is just around the corner uh. and spots them out. Are they still going for this dive? They have Cleanse, Flash, and ult from Abel. Teleport. Not quite a teleport available on Ninja, but they still go on in. That's still a lot of damage to Abel with them flashing ults away. He's going to do well. Hydro comes over the wall, but the feathers are good. Trying to get some damage back, and they do get it, but the knockups come on through and disengage the turret shot. They make it happen. And it happened. Ooh, Ooh crossback coming through, though. Bird ult did end up popping the ultimate to ult back to lane. The dive continues in bot. Flash away from the shattering strike from PP God means they don't get stuck. One of my uh, my favorite video game cutscenes of all time is the opening cutscene to Halo Combat Evolved. Where it's like, oh no, we've teleported into the middle of nowhere, but surely they can't be here first. But they've always been faster! Oh, Birdall, you're a little bit too slow to read what's happening topside. Not a third kill to Xiaofang, but it will be a third oh. kill involvement. And they've got a lot of speed, will not be yet, and then um, Birdall roaming down the mid lane does have his Destiny Gate available. Dragon started by LGD and the teleport begins to fly. Weaver's wall behind, Dragon secure, but a PP God going on in, and he gets charmed up as Hytra goes back to Hytra and makes something happen. So as Jinjar, as I get the name slightly messed up, because Magna Storm afterwards does buy some time, but there's just no follow-up. And so the Magna Storm means so little as Abel goes over the wall. The killer instinct is there, Xiaofang begins to hop around those swords. Beginning to dive on forwards, it's Damocles over here, and that's someone the Herald in mid lane. They want to try and shove for even more now and claim control of the map. You see that Birdall is forced to group here. He doesn't have his ultimate just yet. Herald slams into mid lane. Six grubs summons the Zerg rush, and the wall comes across. This could be fight on. Meteor tries to go and end the Magna ah. Storm goes wide. Everyone reads the weather warning, and Meteor suddenly realizes maybe he should have renamed to Meteorologist because he was not winning that one out, that's for sure. Another soul claimed, another body down. Tower stands for now, but another wave coming crashing and there's nothing to be done. Another weather, weather report in mid lane is that is a high pressure formation. It's <laughs> cloudy with a chance of Viego. Oh, he goes straight on in. Good feathers though, as Xiaoyi begins to pop off. They've gone a little deep. That was always the risk. Can you deal with the Zaya? She can keep on fighting forwards. Birdle gets another gold card and somehow, somewhere, LGD turn it all around. Zaya begins to fly south for the winter. Warmer weathers and more food to be found. Flash on forward, W running, surely another couple feathers will do it! And Kim just cannot be brought down! About that first kill in the front line of Baron is started, LGD trying to crawl their way through the, through the vision line. Meteor will be here, of course, as Rel had their ability to get over the wall and steal Baron very high. Tier fault, it's going behind them. Behind, the flank now in, 3000 HP on the Baron, this is going to get very dicey! Back in respawning, Meteor goes in, Lost Vision is now in the pit themselves, big engage on the Birdall is immediately popped, but that means Kais is not in the fight on the other side, finally turns up, Peepy got being attacked by Hightop, but on the other side, Xiaofang just gets reset, after reset. reset, welcome to the bounce house, Viego will be your master of ceremonies, and OMG come away from that fight, hopping mad, 11 kills to 4, Baron to their name, and the flank goes wrong. And there's one kill only traded back for LGD. They're gonna lose that Baron. They're gonna get, not even be in position to really OMG, they walk away after they've taken that dragon. You can see that the Meteor. ultimates are coming through. Meteor, that's fantastic. They've got to be shot, but it's onto Cube and Abel, who do manage to get away for now. The gold card lands Abel down to about 20% HP. Oh, quite down is down. Good pick. Now they're trying to run away. High child lands the charm. Big pick on his Alpha, who's trying to run away. Cannot get far enough. Is into that unraveled earth. PP got on the other side. Trying to buy some space. Meteor needs to back away. PP got on Xiao Fang still low, and this is the problem. They can't do enough damage to keep people from running away. They finally kill off Cube. Now Angel in a spot of bother does not have the flash and Xiao. We have to battle dance forward to keep the range in. The rapid fire cannon not quite there. And LGD. HP. Steady does get to reset. Baron vision control secured by LGD. Are they going to try and turn this around knowing that Cube's not quite back until the teleport comes on through the fight begins? Meteor pulling back alongside the feathers. PP got low. Not dying. How try? Trying to get onto Xiaofang who will be a critical pickup. The seismic shove goes wide as Birdall looks for the gold card. Lands it onto the Nautilus. They do get a pick. Junjo on the other side though is very low. 
But LG it's do come away so with a victory there, just about. Oh, it's to an extent, they kill people. I'm a little bit surprised at that, but maybe just looking at the fact that Hydra would have his ultimate back and you don't have the Nautilus to lock down the Ari, maybe that chooses their decision yeah. for them. But LG are going to be here to respond to Baron again. They haven't burned this down quick enough. Meteor is here. Again, the ability to get into the pit from this side is very high. Is in. Can look to steal. 2,000 HP. Look for the steal. Stolen. Meteor makes it happen. Comes crashing down. The Magnus Storm afterwards will only delay his death briefly. The resets begin to come on through. Trying to continue running as Hightower has got the ultimate angel coming on over and Birdall and Hightower in very difficult position. The charm lands, but nowhere enough to keep them safe. Flashing over the wall. I feel like that might just be a mistake. There's nowhere to go, Ari. Just dies here as the seismic shove comes on through. Just give up the death. And they get one back. Make that two, of course, meteor falls. But they get those feathers. Feels like they are the key thing to play around. Shaya has flash, has alt. Can OMG force any of them without losing a fight immediately afterwards? PP God, you've got to be so careful, man. This is difficult terrain. Oh, the seismic shove! It's over forcing from Shun Chao, who thinks they've got a pick and it's all a bait in the end. Now with a full V5 advantage, LGD in danger as the Weaver's Wall comes to corral them. The Magnus Storm back is good, though! It leaves a lot of space for Shao. Here, and that means a dead Talia. Medjai stacks down, but the damage afterwards is still fantastic. Looking to get something by Shari, just can't do enough. I know MG finds it. Birdall's clearing the wave. He's gone it. behind them. The wave is already dead in front of them. Birdall realizes if he leaves this alive, it could be the end of the game. With Shari thinking. down, heads up thinking. The carries that survive from LGD go and clear up now, too. So if you yeah. thought this wasn't bad enough, it is going to get worse. Watch for these APWs as well. Huge amounts of damage coming through from them. Where is he? He's just come up to the plate. This will be one. With the Void Staff, if he hits another W onto the same target, it's going to be nasty, but Cube's caught. Oh, and this Udius is not tanky anymore. Down and dead to right. Big pick off. The frontline largely gone. Baron's up. And despite the fact that it's against an Infernal Soul as well, LGD, they don't end up facing a poke battle. They get one kill. Charm lands, but it's not going to land to that much. And now Baron getting low. Shun just gone again. Just cannot survive this Rakan. Cannot play Warden the way he wants to. Baron stolen! Shaofeng gets in. It's been one apiece now. Into the back line. Xiaoye is desperately trying to survive. Goes up into the air. The redemption comes down. by space, by time. But just not enough. The body is stolen. And now Zaya begins to turn on her allies. And OMG, come on in and a 4 v It was always going to be a narrow win condition from where the game ended up, but credit to LGD for making it a close affair in the late game. In the end, it will not matter. Junjao respawns, but this Rakan just will not have anything to say about delaying the end of the game. OMG win game one, but it was a torrid time of it. Thing a little avant-garde. It's getting a Michelin star as it's going straight in the bin. Just confirmed as well, this is... The first major region Twitch of 2024. This and, uh, though it's uh, a region apart, the thing is that both of these regions inform each other. I would love to know what's happening in these scrims. I'd love to know if Presta to see what happens once that level six is hit. A Angel has himself level six as well, and you've got Xiaofang heading down. Potential of the ult here, here we go. Destiny gates on in, it's a good hook back, but Angel's tank enough to deal with it. Oh, the handshake is phenomenal. First blood comes away, Xiaofang on the nidley lands that javelin toss and oh, to playing very disrespectfully or looking for these big trades. You can't do that now unless you have good vision. And LGD don't right now. Twitch is currently in bot side, that's fine. Angel's got him, getting his ult up a little bit, just into the bit now. Okay, one more grub taken. In goes PP God, but the other side, OMG just a little bit slow to get involved. Bird off very low on the other side Meteor. as Angel takes him down. Meteor goes in, gets a big hook onto PP God, who is immediately dragged down with that meat, that magnet. It's storm. The damage back. Pretty good. Grub taken as well. Birdall flashes on in. Gets another. But the damage back is beginning to fire on through. shawi has got nowhere to go. And OMG lose a couple. And yes, they lose a grub. But it's a triple kill somehow to this Nidalee. And the SLGD get a couple grubs. But at what damn? They see. Abel is in the river. Popped his cube. Has ult. Doesn't have something like a hurricane just yet. What can he do in a fight like this? Hychow has package. There is a point of power. And Abel now comes out on a vision. Where is this Twisted Fate going? The hook lands, the packet comes on over, but not a huge amount of value until actually you know who's hit on it! It was Abel! The bailout's there, and he survives! He survives! The rat poison doesn't work! And he stays alive, the dragon is claimed, oh, but once man. again, at what cost? LGD, two objectives in a row, fall apart in the fight. Oh, that bailout value was so huge. The gold card afterwards as well. Yes, they get dragon. A little bit too close to hearts. I need to actually be on their head. I need to be pulling the hair in melee range. Still lives. This man should not be alive. Send this person to rat jail. Either way, two, zero, and three extra plates. And OMG, they are so far ahead of the game now. Shia takes down another kill. 
So the game falls a little bit far upon the get burst out, but OMG have themselves the gold lead, they have control on the map, and it's gonna be a very hard situation for LG to organize that kind of flight. Jin Zhao is gonna get hit by sp Oh my god, the damage from Xiaofeng! And it's just so much continual CC! <laughs> They don't even more in the sense that you know you are running with the corky in the center. You've got time in some ways to play a little bit for the scaling as Murdol. He's gonna find Angel, but Shaofeng is here. I don't actually know how much he wants this. The spear lands, the magnus order buys some space, teleports are coming on through. This would be a huge shutdown! Glant it over to Birdall. They go too deep. Meteor gets Twitch. value. Twitch is coming though. Wait for the spray and pray to begin to be unleashed. Now can look for it. Throws down that cast to try and get some damage down. The depth charge interrupts though. Meteor likely to fall. Senna Q buys time. The ignite though from Abel makes it a one for one. Junglers on both sides dead. Abel comes in with two items and you've dealt with one of the threats, but not all of them. He has a Rage Blade as second item. Didn't expect Ow. that one through. He has himself another Q. Cubes around the back, and I don't think they can disengage from this. Amazing Stampede might have been an option. They do right. manage to get on out of that. I worried too. Huge items coming from a um, Angel, who has himself the Rapid Fire Cannon. And then we do have to talk about that Twitch build, as, uh, well, he's going to not be here at this play, as it feels like Hydro is just going to die. Yeah, I think that was the package that just went down. Oh. As well as that just the Angel. In addition to Junjo missing the hook, puts him under tower, has to back away. GD get away with it. The teleport was summoned. PP got here as well. Xiaofang over the wall, throwing a javelin that goes a little wild, but his presence now known. This tower should still fall. And LGD refusing to give up just yet. They go on in. PP got low, but not dead. Abel here begins to fire again. The Magnus Storm to the backside by some space, but they just can't quite do enough damage to the damn rat, who now has Abel? to deal with Abel. Abel over the wall. Can't quite get the kills, though. Everyone's so low, but not dead. Oh, he was so close to glory. Oh, it's a sinking sh playing on vision at that point too, which is very detrimental to his character. He's off of vision right now, has the Q, spear, lands. Shaya could just get, he has no summoners. He's dead, surely he's dead. Expunge about to come on through the poison. Not gonna quite work because there's still a piercing darkness, but now the destiny gate can come on through. Angel on the other side begins to do some damage. High child goes over the wall, the center already gone. OMG winning out this fight with style. That one looks a lot better. Angel on the Twisted Fate comes in and cleans up shop. If you make a mistake as well, it's so hard to do so. OMG will claim Baron. They're going to get even more gold in hand. And with two, two minutes on the dragon as well, they can get themselves to a soul. But uh, now we are in a position once again where the snowball is complete. This Twisted Fate, this Nidalee, all very, very scary. Abel. Abel is very, very deep, and this might be a problem again. We'll have the bailout surely, but it's not going to be enough to keep him alive quite yet, and does go down. On the other side, though, Senna is eviscerated by Cube, and LGD, they go very deep to make the pick happen, but it puts them out of position. What is Abel doing? Is this, is this Twitch or is this Mickey Mouse? I don't know, man. This other Mickey Mouse is public domain, but let's not give it for free, hey? <laughs> oh boy, in fairness, LGD were very far up and Cube was already behind them, so in some ways being there was a risk. High Chow very low from the combo from the TF and the Corky immediately has to run back towards the Founder. Chai flat and tries to get on into Piercing Dark. But save people! Birdall does a lot of damage, doesn't quite get the kill. Shafang flashes away. Cube coming on over. Birdall can't quite get in range, but still managed to buffer his way through the queue, trying to do some damage. Angel gets bailed out, stays alive, but the package of the backside means there's already a couple killed now onto High Chow on the Corky. Can Valkyrie over the wall, but he needs to not go to Valhalla quite yet. As Cube must run, the Blazing Stampede does go absolutely nowhere as High Chow guns him down and LGD Wait. are still going to lose out to Dragon as Angel just gates out to claim that. Why does this team- He's still broken. Baron not available for a couple minutes and Dragon was still secured by Angel. Now maybe a turnaround and a massive pick yep. onto Xiaofang. Another exactly. death. As soon as you see everyone squaring up like that, you have to use that door on the front line. How much time will you have though? Again, this vision control from OMG, very important because it means that Twitch can choose his angles like this. Does a lot of damage. Bird no! oh, but he goes in! Bailout's there and he's dead! Abel! He what was flashed. that decision? He flashed into the hook. He tried to flash over it and gets massively outplayed. Once again, the rat goes splat and the vermin tide is stemmed once more. Angel is now trying to play some I don't know, defensive countermeasures on the top size and says, let's just try and get this map split up. But that is a huge mistake from the man in the bot lane. It's such a mistake. There's no wave here right now as Cube managed to clear it out with some Stormborn wings as Cube still healing up, of course. The Iron Mantle doing its work to keep his HP topped up. In the picture in picture though, Angel still disastrously strong. Solo kill, that means another turret goes down. This Twisted Fate scary. Can look to gate back in or out. 
Angel trying to pick up the pieces from the mistakes of Abel. He pops the destiny. He can get himself the full inhib and then tell. Do you believe in miracles, folks? Angel's trying to make them happen. Seven, one, and ten, making up for the mistakes of his AD carry. Oh, geez, they've certainly got a couple creatures on their shoulders. Abel perhaps playing the devil this time around, going a little bit too deep, a little bit too impulsive. The fight begins on the other side. Stun tries to go on through onto Abel, who's still unleashing ungodly amounts of damage. Still dies as Birdle tries to make use of his profane Hydra to the best amount he can. But the Charnel House just will not work out quite yet. Angel still doing... Filthy things! It's a triple kill to the Aatrox who still falls down! Zhen Zhao falls! Full ace with the exception of the Corky! And it looks- From the Tears Twisted Fate, that can solve things back to the Baron. Here we go, LGD wants to try and find something back. They're gonna do with Hexol now. And against the Twisted Fate and the Nidley who can proc it so easily, it gets so difficult. Can Angel also rush towards the base? There are no- There's a teleport into the fight. Here comes the TF ult. Oh boy, look at this fun for once, Abel, untouched. Finally chunked out, but it's bailed out. Does die, but on the other side brings down a couple. Corky free firing. Corky doing work and Birdle here as well. OMG, lose this fight. Abel is not untouched again for the first second he is, and then everyone just lands into his lab for him to team fight right now. And Birdle has so much damage. Root lands. This could be dangerous. Oh, Birdle lands a Q1. Flash out of the Q2. Birdle, no world ender though. Means he falls. Angel is just monstrous. This deck is just stacked with nuclear warheads. Xiaoya runs away, but Senna, there's nowhere to go but your own last embrace. The cleanse comes on down. Still not enough. The wild card just wide, but the javelin sauce as well. Not quite there. Throwing another wild card out. Xiaoya must run. Must stay away. Must try and keep out the of gates. danger. A hex gate comes on through, and PP God is here. And you have the bigger energy, the man with the handshake. It's gonna be Shia going down. It's an extended death timer too. That's good. Ourselves a bit of Billy Billy waiting to tell us the end of this game. What will happen? The stream freezes just very, very briefly, and we're into the base. Abel steps on forwards, begins to unleash again, does so much damage, the damage back is good, but it's just not stopped this time. Abel gets Junjao, and now the base exposed. Next is going down, Abel flashes on forwards, this time he makes it work. The triple kill comes out, and the coin flip works. OMG, again have to work harder than they should have, but it is a 2-0. And they get the start of a team fight. Then after that point, you have to get through this very obnoxious front line of the Alistair ultimate and then maybe even the Jax uh, popping his ult too with everyone buffed up with Karma Shield. If you don't hit Doc Dam or he flashes out of quickly, can FBX accelerate this game before this bot lane becomes untenable? Kanavi comes two. down, level 3 to level 2. How much XP can you get? You see, they're hoping they're actually doing quite a lot of work. So much damage missing. He does get healed. The damage from the arrow is huge. Missing will die in trade to 1 for 1 right now. Doctor still has the spark surge to get over the wall. Flash from the arrow. The Kanavi now trying to get some damage out. Still has flash. and still get the kill and get on out. 2 for 1. Dive successful. JDG pull off the aggressive dive. Okay, so Milky Way does have a chance to then get, make a cross map towards top side. It's a fairly high HP Malphite, but he has no item stun lands. And the flash doesn't really amount to all that much. Milky Way will need to flash, will die for the trade, but does get the kill. I think that's a mistake here. I think that giving the gold over to Milky Way instead of Shallow, who completely tips this matchup. Philandria can teleport in with the wave not crashed under turret okay. and get huge items. Care's left out to dry. He's going to get killed here. Kanavi still has flash. Missing gets the Hexlash in as well on the reset from his death. They get another kill. That's a kill in every lane effectively for JDG. Um, it feels like Jace just gets outvalued by the Malphite. And he stacks up armor. He maxes up his W. In this game, you very much max the W as well at some point into your mid game. Especially against multiple auto attackers and things get nasty. But Yugao might have to flash, but he still gets rooted. And now the flash counter strike with the leap strike. And it's just a wonderful kill onto Yugao. And now Kanavi in a dangerous position. But Justice mismatch. Rebel reset. Doc Dam. Gets away from the hook, life goes over, down has come Care, and that's put Ruler in a difficult position. Nowhere really to go, gets rooted, flashes on forward, does not get the kill. Zeri gets that one, and Ruler burns the summoner as well. Important play in the bot side. So that's something back, Care getting onto the map. It's not even the junglers doing this, it's not going to lead to anything more at this point. Dog down now with two kills behind it. Flandry at low HP, Kanavi on top side, but on vision. That's why Shallow, who's not necessarily going too hard. Ult comes in, here's Milky Way. Oh, Flandre gets baited, outsmarted. The Counter Strike is there. Kanavi takes the cube back. I don't think he's getting anything more. We could be seeing another reprisal of Milky Way's Jax, like you saw against BLG, and he just starts getting into all of these fights. Dragon goes down to the side of JDG. Ultimate kind of engage combo, and if it goes wrong, mm. the likes of a Jax who suddenly got a. 
Malphite that's ulted in, a Nautilus that's hooked in, a Lee Sin that's hooked so, in, you can start turning it around. So grubs are gone for free. Worth noting that it really felt like J JDG, if I were to sum up their playstyle this year, is that they don't make that many errors. They try to get on top lane. And there's still no flash quite yet for Pachala, who's just saying, look, I'm dead. I'll clear out the way best I can. Dies. Kanavi turns up top side. This time, Milky Way's not there. ...to fight around bot side because JDG have themselves bot side vision control. So there's going to be a trade of Dragon for Harold. Chemtech going down for JDG. We'll get to see what our rift is. And it is a Mountain Soul. So it's going to be Mountain Soul. I know you can't always see that logo up in the top left, but... Uh... That's the one that Galahu dying a little later. He's done okay in this side lane matchup. Care gets caught by a combo. Is that realistically going to get more? Yes, it is. Good damage. Here, but it's just too late. Nearly a nice kind of response from FBX to be in the right kind of space, but the combo was just too fast. It was. Yeah, they are. Galahu is once again in this position where. Oh, my days. Phenomenal, Kanavi. Just steps in. Galahu was about to say the man has been trying to clear out ways best he can, but you just looked at the blue side control from JDG. The man saw follow up and it's mm, fpx so. with position but flandre has yeah. teleport. so flandre is not going to use his talent his ultimate because he knows that's his combat advantage he's going back he's going to teleport probably onto one of these pink wards here but is the dragon going to be gone by the time he's here flash in from life is flashed away from from ruler down to 2000 hp as a dragon Kanavi into the backside does not get that much value dragon take it goes flandre. Goes flandre into the backside huge unstoppable force but dog dumb is alive look at how much damage he can do and fbx do get out yagao flashes forward gets a seismic shove ruler can to do something back. This arrow could prove deadly until the shield comes on through. Karma's still over that way. Dragon started by JDG. The last one went the way of FBX, but they're the ones with control right now. And JDG they do buy themselves initially enough entry into this river. Do they lose this tower? Again, look how quickly the waves get pushed from FBX. This is why we're seeing Shiv and Hurricane on the Zeri. That item builds allow them to do this. They find themselves a pick onto Missing, who has flash. Can we see a flashback from Flandre? He is in such good position to potentially force out a fight. Stop the easy value right now. You don't have any other lethality to boost up that item. It's another ult from your gown. Dogtam is punted back. It has to dodge away from the hook. Here comes life. Oh, that is a phenomenal flash headbutt to get your gown down. Life, take your hat off, brings death to JDG's mid laner. Missing, flashing away. The Nautilus still punctured his suit. No longer safe to be under the water. Flandre now being brought down as well. And the mountain is felled, tunneled through. And FBX make it look like Deep Rock Galactic. Oh my gosh, rock and stone, that Flandre Malphite can't get himself the entry he wants. He's not there for the initial part of the fight. And FBX are rewarded for playing a little bit more slow than they usually do. Ruler looking to maybe get himself into a position to poke out that someone on the Baron and look for a steal with Kanavi, but they can't walk over. Not with Doc Dam, the ability to wall surf over and get himself a flash maybe into the play. F FBX have actually overcome JDG at this point. It's going to be so difficult for JDG to find the kills onto the carries. Now it's JDG the ones with the real onus of, you know, of being able to weather the storm and look for that one opportunity. I think they're in a losing position now. Got no teleport on Flandre either. So yes, you've got a couple wards down in the river right now for JDG, but they're not very useful. You can throw your gout. That's about it. But Flandre not having his ult on the mouth fight. See how difficult fight. that is. I mean, how do you fight? The problem with it is about the Malphite. When Mar some middle of the pack flash in the pan, they are right up there with the Halcyon gods of the LPL life. A dangerous position. Maybe, oh, maybe I've just cast a cursed him. He throws some pretty words out and immediately yeah. a man dies. It's so often with FPX sweat a little before they can close it out. They do. They teleport in. Dogtam flashes out. They try to get cut over. It's a good head, but away. They don't get him over the wall. Dogtam trying to survive. Finally gets to throw down the lightning crash. Does not die quite yet. Survives. Dogtam continues to free fire. The burst fire goes full auto. And FPX win out. Life with another clutch save. Oh, but the power of the stars and life itself. JDG are on the retreat. They swing for Dogtam and they just about miss. He's bleeding out, but he gets it. Brought back up to his feet by his teammates. JDG, I think they might just be losing game one. They're on the march on in. Olympus is falling. And look who's here to take over the thrones. FPX. 
They've got themselves a game one. There's still a lot of series to go. There's still more of this tale to be done. But FBX have decided they are here not just to play, but to margins. Now, JDG, what do you do? Again, you don't have summoners now. On the other side, though, no flash on Doc down. No flash on Milky Way. What can you do? Here comes missing. You're trying to get in. That's a fairly decent knock up into the back like Kanavi goes again, but still cannot deal with Doc Dermot Shaolo, who goes into the backside as well. Jace here to play. The hammer comes crashing on down into the skies. Goes FBX. His chance to win the game. They're teleporting in. Care is there. A ruler just cannot be careful enough. Ruler loses his crown. FBX win game one. So often in the LPL, bot lane difference is measured with a ruler. FBX snap it in half and throw it on the ground. It's Milky Way. It's life. It's Doc Dam. It's fun plus Phoenix taking game one. What year? Uh, a couple of LCK exports in the LPL facing off again on distant lands. Ruler Doctor 3 3 v 3 yeah, Kanavi gets hit by the wind, becomes lightning. We'll turn that around with the Vault Breaker, but missing in a dangerous position. Has to burn the heel. Kanavi has to flash out. On the other side, Ruler training with Dockdown. Could well win this one out. The arrow still lands. Dockdown's got to be careful. First blood to Jinzao. Missing is about to go missing. And now the posters keep flying. Oh no, JDG. The whole town is in the police station looking for fun. Then he gets tagged by the second wind, wind becomes lightning in this play. And bot side falls flash. apart. Size, dice, nice job with the vault breaker. Shallow who goes down. They get something back to you like we saw before in season six. It's been a long time since then. Life gonna walk up again. There's only a cleanse left. Oh my days, the burn is brutal. Missing's dead as well. And FPX, how much criticism is this bot lane? Footed, this early game from the Rumble support has been absolutely destructive. And Milk that way. Kanabi oh has level six. He was He's not there assist. to defend bot side, but he has himself an ult, and that's a mini nerf. Vault Breaker comes on through, there comes the Season Assist, Flandre slices, Dices, does not have the Flash, and the Meganar is coming, I think Shalou can keep going, Milky Way's here, they're way too deep, over comes Shigao, lands one, that'll be the reset on the ultimate, who else is coming? No one as it sounds, but actually Care is here, Milky Way in life, we'll head into the enemy jungle, and I don't think you win ever a 2v2 there, they're gonna flash forward for the Fates Call, this is the moment they're looking for, they've got the man advantage, Dogtam's got nowhere to go, and Ruler gets something. Okay, it's an overstep here. Flash cleanse ult use from Ruler to deal with Dogdam's ultimate. That now leaves Missing dead to rights. He's got a Flash, but he just can't get far enough away. Flash Wind becomes Lightning, and they burned so much to kill Dogdam. They have nothing. It looked cool, but now Shallow who left out to try a little bit, but has Meganar coming. Dominus coming. No one else is coming with him, and Tarag has oh. only just been started. No <laughs> Meganar here. Dead Gnar under the turret. So JDG early turret. Siege, but the dragon has spawned either way. I think they're just trying to pen JDG to their own side of the map. And we get a brief moment to cool down and just chill out a little bit and see what's going to happen after this point. JDG, they're going to give up another dragon. We'll see what uh, flavor of Rift we're on for the second game I like of vanilla. the series. You like vanilla? No. Kept with the first ice cream I, they came to my rift, sadly. I don't exactly know what that would taste like. Sea, sea salt. salt. Sea yeah, salt. it's Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts, yeah. The, uh, and, uh, well, we'll see if this one's going to be a broken oh, heart in the bot boy. side. It's looking a bit spicy and ice cream down here. Ah, oh, in comes Annie. Care Bears in. Both bot laners down. These AD carries have just nothing to say about anything yeah. in this game. If this is a Kingdom Hearts, that ruler of that kingdom. Is or Telly Grubbies? Uh, either one's fine. I think I'll we'll have to bring that one to the network. Doc Dam has Flash, has Alt, might be able to catch someone. He's off of Vision. JDG, be careful. Channel's changing very swiftly here. It's looking like some late night horror reruns right now for JDG. People jumping over walls. And, uh, shocking them out yeah. of nowhere. And it will be no LPL. This team is very hard to get under the skin. Obviously, the Herald's being charged up. Life is going to be put in here. Is there any chance of a arrow. burst coming? There goes the arrow. It's onto the, into the charm, but the, the equalizer after is good. In comes a cease and desist, but Kanavi still can't quite get the kill. It's finally a one for one, but everything burned just to go one for one. Necessarily what you want. Yeah, actually, a play pattern is that arrow hits, it's still gonna do a lot of damage either. The oh, same really ruler, not. he has cleanse, he has flash, he might shut down either way. I don't think the cleanse survives. Over the wall he goes, he's gonna try and rend his way out, and instead, Norto comes on through and life. <laughs> One ruler over the wall is not in this fight right now. Carby charging up that queue. It is a front to back. No flanks on this one. Yaga will be spotted on that flank. They have a honey fruit. Shallow who Meganar. Does force the fates call. Flandre's ultimate about to go down. Care throws down the bear. Oh my the god. The equalizer damage is brutal. They delete the top jungle of JDG. No longer available to play out this fight. And JDG routed, running to the hills. But FPX are ready to burn and pillage their way 
to what looks to be a clean 2-0. They will not go quietly into the night. They will claim everything they can. Soul point, three kills. And they can't quite claim Baron because it's just too early. The Phoenix fancies itself a spot of regicide. It kills the ruler once more. Two and four. The bot side of the map from FPX is just so monstrously strong. A moment to attack Care, maybe, who flashes away, throws down Tibbers. Kanavi has to flash. Flandre with the Dominus trying to get something back. The arrow does land onto life. Who is dead? The Yigao. turn around those immediately coming through. Ligao gets over the wall onto Care and gets something here. Is this their moment? Can Jingdong Gaming get something? Milky Way, though. Lurking for another win becomes slightly. Cannot get an audacious charge. Over towards the other side of the river we go. His Doctor has to flash. Heal away. Shalahu going away. It's currently a two for one. And JDG gets something, but Milky, Milky Way back. A crunch. A wallop! A dead ash! Oh my god, these fights are not stopping, but Jay lost his first rookie of the week to Shit. And it looks like Flandre, the, the veteran on the roster, the getting a kill back. is good. Care finally dies, but he's done so much work again. The problem is all of these picks are coming at cost. And now look who has to run away to Kanavi. Where does he go? He's got nowhere to go. Might be able to execute, I guess. Ari shoving in the top side. And credit to JDG, they are at the very least... Onto him. Again, that tankiness <laughs> coming through nice and strong. Yigao. Oh, he has to blow his ult oh, early. No. Yigao, that's a problem. He really needs to do they Ow. fight in the duration of the charm now? They get the combo onto Nar, but he's mega! And just gets over the wall, stays alive, and they get a massive amount of damage back onto Kanavi. Milky Way throws down the Crescent Guard. Maybe I've cursed him slightly, but he will flash back out. Goes back in with the wind, becomes lightning. Ruler can't quite get the kill. The health bars, though, from JDG. Higher than FPX is right now. Ah, but they've used their ultimates, and you've still got Care with his big one, and you've got the Double uh, you've got the li life equalizer as well. FPX, they walk away with lower HP, but better tools to fight. Tibbers also stay out on this bot side. JDG oh. think they're just going to oh. lose themselves the dragon missing might even die to the double burn he just about gets away and fpx they don't get themselves a clean fight dude they have had to play wide because they cannot play in the five versus five and fpx know it they punish immediately ruler burned everything okay. in the last fight so nothing left fpx trying to stop jdg from coming down the front and center this would have to be a baron steal and nothing short of it kanavi how can they gate him out of it flandre walking up giving vision Supposed to be a close series. It wasn't supposed to be a whitewash. They get one. It's life dead. Kanavi has to back away. Flash wind becomes lightning. Does not land. They are getting something back. And actually, because of the initial kill, FBX yeah. cannot claim the Baron, you would think. I mean, life is... Oh, no, it's I think Kanavi. that Kanavi has overstayed a little bit. They're going on to Vision Charm. Lands is enough damage. They're looking Milky for it. He's got Crescent Guard, but watch for Kanavi. He can just kill Milky Way! No, he can't! The Crescent Guard's there! The Sundered Sky healing! They flash to get the kill, but at what cost? It's just the Xin Zhao! It's not anybody valuable in so many ways, because you know who's left. It's the Nar. It's the Varus. That Red Sea's coming in, an FPX. Looking to shake the foundations of JDG. They were 9-1. and one. This series was supposed to be close. It was supposed to still be JDG winning. And FPX have slapped in the faces of predictions. Jigal. The damage on the other side, though, gets another kill onto life. Moments like these... I mean, JDG... Again, JDG, they don't have the vision control. It's very hard for them to play into all of this fog of war. You can see that FPX grouping towards this top side. They're a member down, but they still have a lot of combat stats to bring to bear. A lot of gold to bring to bear in the Ocean Soul, keeping them topped up nonetheless. Items, but it's so hard now for him to fight beyond a two-level disadvantage. Oh, and that's another alt landing. It's brutal. Kanavi just doesn't get to do anything. The Fate's Call comes on through. But I think this Fate is a dodgy one indeed. You should have found something better at Luna. New Year, boys, because that one comes out of the shrine and straight into a grave. Yagao has to spirit rush away. FPX. Not whether they're upstarts anymore. How long will it take before people start to really fear them? JDG have to contend. Another alt land. Alt oh, top damn! Yagao flashing alive, but so low. Kanavi cannot get into the pit. Fails to get over the wall. He's dead as well. Now the Elder Dragon about to be secured. JDG scrambling, running. It's fruitless. The game is over. Ruler once again slowed. Shaolahu throws a boulder in his face. And there is nowhere left to run, nowhere left to hide. Your kingdom is ashes. It is a handful of dust. Get it right. And it's scorched into the ground by fun. Plus, Phoenix.
JDG, they have been slapped, they have been put in their place with an elder buff and a numbers advantage. Fun plus Phoenix show that they are not just the upstart rookies, they're not just the rookie of the split from Milky Way. They are contenders and they are working their way towards the very top of the table. Congratulations to Fun plus Phoenix with a 2 0 victory over the three peat champions of the. These were some of the best highlights from all of the LPL spring matchups of the day. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.